this is Thunder E from BorderWalk.com and today we're doing a review of the Kingston Data Traveler HyperX 3.0. This is a USB 3.0 thumb drive. This has a capacity of 64 gigabytes. They have logical capacities and small capacities, but we're using the 64 gigabyte uh, version here. Read speeds are 225 megabits um, for USB 3.0 and 30 megabits for USB 2.0 and we are going to give you a demo here but let's open this up what we'll do is we have an older data traveler uh, we can compare that to to show you but first of all we do have to cut this open there we go kind of cut into the little instructional guide it's got this nice little say keychain holder if you will we can slide out our data traveler here and We'll put this aside. Let's take a better look. So this is 64 gigabytes. It's thick, if you will. It's uh, on the thicker side. Open this up, and you can see it's a USB 3.0 with the blue in indication there, and that's pretty much it. Very simple. It says 64 gigabytes on there. Solid frame. Good body, so that you know it doesn't um, break or destroy on fall or damage. So what we're going to do is this is our 3.0 and this is our USB 2.0 64 gigabyte data travel. This is a data traveler 200 from Kingston. So we can easily show you we'll do, what we'll do is we'll plug both the devices in. We'll do a screencast and we'll show you how well uh, it transfers. Uh, this is going to be over USB 3.0. This is going to be over USB 2.0. And we'll show you both devices and we'll give you a better look. And you can make a decision for yourself. But uh, I can almost tell you from uh, without even doing that, this most likely will do very well. So let's jump ahead and uh, check that out on the PC. All right, so I'm going to show you the difference in data speeds between the Kingston HyperX 3.0, which is a USB 3.0 flash drive, and the uh, its previous version, which is a USB 2.0 flash drive. Both of them are, have 64 gigabytes capacity. Again, I'm recording this over the MXL Tempo mic, so you can hear um, just another sound sample from the microphone. But let's get into the um, you know the uh, versus, if you will, the review here. So the USB 2.0 uh, flash drive is on the left hand side, has a couple of files in there, and the USB 3.0 is on the right. We are going to transfer um, some videos. You can, video size, combined video size is 1.32 gigabytes, so I think that's large enough. It will transfer first to USB 2.0. It's transferring over there, and then we'll transfer it to the USB 3.0. So now, this is one here, two, and we can show you which is moving faster. So right now, the USB 3.0 file is already copied, uh, flash drive is copied four and USB 2.0 is only copy two video files and um, USB 3.0 should be done in about five seconds that took roughly for 1.32 gigabytes probably took around 10 seconds and the USB 2.0 uh, drive is still going on here so you can clearly see that USB 3.0 uh, uh, HyperX flash drive from Kingston with the I believe it's uh, 255 megabits uh, read speed is uh, it's very fast works well does a very good job I can see it's uh, again the USB 2.0 flash drive is still going on um, still hasn't finished but you can clearly see that uh, uh, it's definitely worth getting a USB 3.0 drive faster uh, more effective uh, you get uh, you know quick read and write speeds and also um, you know it just does a very good job plus you know um, it also handles high uh, data capacity as well um, so that's pretty much it instead of us waiting another 60 seconds for a USB 2.0 drive to finish we'll just round up the, the review so if you guys have any questions or any comments about the Kingston HyperX USB 3.0 um, uh, flash drive let us know um, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's uh, Border Work with Two O's. So this is Thunder saying thank you, and always enjoy entertainment.